and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Diana LeBlanc. We're going to be going Nightfall with LeBlanc this time. So this deck hasn't been as tested as much as some of our other decks, but still looks pretty good. It looks It's more of a, a theory-crafted deck, but we're going to be a curve-out deck um, with some really aggressive Nightfall elements. And so we have cards like Crescent Guardian that with Nightfall turns into a 5-3. And of course, the 5 power is going to be important for LeBlanc. Uh, and for reputation. So we'll have like Whisper Words with reputation. So we'll have like Crescent Guardian can strike for five, Glory Seeker, LeBlanc, Cato, and then also another Nightfall card that people don't play that much, the Cloven Way, 5-4 Overwhelm, that can also stun some things. Um, so that could be pretty cool there. So we have lots of ways to strike for five, help turn on Whisper Words. Even Diana, if we were playing enough Nightfall cards and we level up Diana, then Diana's Nightfall, um, you know, like whenever... Whenever we have this, the plus two, plus zero, that can even strike for five also. So it'll be interesting to try out. We have one Captain Farron at the top end, because that card is pretty busted. And we have the Sentry Flock combo in here, being all Noxus and stuff. And that's kind of that's kind of our deck. So we're going to try Diana LeBlanc. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Here we go. Yes, Diana is definitely a very good champion, because Diana almost always remove something like with the quick attack challenger you can kill something with diana the turn you play it and so diana always like kills something that's you know like important and then also just stays alive so it's a it's a good removal spell it's like better than you know like so you can kind of think of like diana as like a better mystic shot right because it, it challenges something that does and does two damage to something and then stays alive so very good card I guess we mulligan the flock for how our opening hand looks. Doesn't look like we have like a great use for the flock right now. So we got Zoe Vi. And we'll go goat on turn two. I'm guessing that's Thermo. Nope, shot. Night flowers upon my blade. Alright, well, only one Mystic Shot is allowed to be left in their deck for the LeBlanc. I was a little worried about Static Shock, also with playing the Glory Seeker. Please don't have the 0-2 Challenger, or the 0-mana 2-1 Challenger. <laughs> it's a better way to say that. Okay, it was Thermo. Remember me. Victory requires a sharp blade. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. I'll be very happy if we draw Captain Farron. Because Targon deck slows everything down. Captain Farron will be a good one. Yours is the light I cherish, Moon Sister. No, no. What a creep. Lunari. I guess I make this trade. This was just like pill cascade, everything. Like things could go a lot worse for me. Punchline. What's he doing over there? 
That's exactly what I was hoping they would do. Nope, they didn't do it. You cannot hold us down. So obvious. I whisper truth into lies. Really hoping they would make that challenge though as well. What time is it? Witness the fiction, meat bags. It's our time. Yeah, I think we should probably diversify th the damage threats with removal and everything being a thing. Well, we're playing three Whisper Words and Captain Farron. We also even have our, our own... We have three Pale Cascades of our own. We really want to draw one of those things. Yay, whisper words. Good, we definitely needed that, right? Like, we need more cards. Alright, Flock's not bad. That's a Nightfall. If I mirror... I can't mirror image the Cloven Way and have it stun two things again. Yeah, this, this is a very good turn for us drawing. The Whisper Words was perfect. And then finding both of these from the Whisper Words, definitely perfect. Punch it. Eat this. Huh. Yeah, I never looked at Cloven Way. I always thought Cloven Way was like some kind of like monster. Uh, that was like that that ball shaped like monster thing. Like I thought this was just like a monster. Like that was like the head. Yeah, I never really looked at that card. So star shaping down. Their scent travels on the night air. I think it's fairly easy for them to have a Mystic Shot to kill the LeBlanc if I try targeting LeBlanc with, with the Mirror Image. It's more difficult to kill a 5-4. Then, of course, the 5-4 has Overwhelm. do and that will do all right so those cloven ways the 5-4 overwhelm and stun that won that game for us all right thresh nessus a very tough test
So what happens when you get to this point of Master's Rank, you just play against a lot of Thresh Nasus. I like all these cards. Like, I don't really see anything. Like, Whisper Words is like the card to Mulligan, I guess. But it's, as we saw like that last game, that's going to be a card that we're going to want to have access to. But not for a while. All right, so pet on one, goat on two, Blanc on three. So it's not a great trade, but I kind of want to make the trade to help out Mountain Goat, because otherwise, otherwise Mountain Goat trades with the two one, and obviously, you know, we're also um, saving Nexus health, which can be useful against Atrocity, as we've seen. Moonlight Affliction can stop Nasus later. That's going to be a card for later on. You must Gross. You must. That is the very, very best card to possibly have. It's too bad. Well, I'd, ra I'd rather trade with the 3-1 than trade with uh, Blighted Caretaker next turn. So I'll attack. Forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. I will find someone. Ill met by moonlight. So I can't get this LeBlanc through right now, but that does kind of help out against Thresh next turn if they go Thresh. If they do have the Blighted Caretaker, though, you know, GG's. You must know me. Fading Icon is awesome. Face your heretic. I could definitely see Fading Icon turning into a 2-1. You know, for, for two mana getting a three like a three one body is is okay at three at you know at two mana, but it's not it's not like you're playing a three one, but still you get an additional body as well. You see with these Shadow Isles decks, that additional body is just incredible. necessarily the best turn for me but it does kill the thresh but they get a good like that five three is a good block here the three ones are real good block here and then the yo ones are a good block there so like it's not great I guess if I would have used Pill Cascade, we would have gotten the mirror image, because this is going to be 14. So one off, if it wasn't for that Sand Spinner, minus one, minus zero. One off. I'm saving Whisper Words for next turn for a Nightfall Enabler. We didn't use any, you know, like we get to keep the spell mana. Awake. 
awakens the soul. How many nightfall cards is that? Four? Or three now? So the next one's gonna be four. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I guess I kind of have to go for. Everyone. Okay, well we're gonna play this. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically thinking about like yeah. So like I, right? So it's exactly nineteen, right? Or like let's see, or. Yeah, I'm basically thinking like atro like atrocity keeps them alive, right? And so I want to try to kill them through atrocity. That's that's my thinking here. Like that's at least that's what I was trying to do. Scorn of the moon. Find your path in the dark and follow no false light. If they try to atrocity something, I got uh, Pale Cascade protection. So it looks like they're dead. Their best... Yeah, like, they're dead. Their best play is, like, Atrocity Thresh kill the 4-2, but they're still dead. We Pale Cascade over here, and then, you know, Diana gets the plus 2, plus 0 also. So there's there's no play that keeps them alive. So that's going to be 2-0. Oh. What could you be plotting? I learned my lesson of play against atrocity, right? Like I, I lost the game earlier that I, there's no business for me losing that Garen LeBlanc because I didn't play around atrocity. This time I did. Cloaked in silver light. Impressive win. They had lots of Lots of blockers, and then Thresh, Nasus, Thresh, and Atrocity. Alright, back to the same deck from before. Thresh, Nasus with the Sivir. Let's see. We'll get rid of the words. Because we, we all know the bird is the word. So we'll have Sentry Bird combo. Yeah, Kordak, yeah, these these decks are all good. Very not meta. And Yeah, these these decks have all been very good today. Yeah, def I agree, Kordak. Not meta, variety, and five, eight, twelve. Twelve and five record on the day is incredible. And really, like at least two of those I messed up. They could have definitely been wins. Like two of them for sure. We had we had lethal at a different time that could have been wins. So we could be fifteen and three on the day. I would have played a little better. This fading icon card is really looking good. Just not a card I wanted to flock, but I guess I had to. Yeah, I guess I had to. I'm not nearly as confident in this game as I was in the previous games. they're gonna have glimpse beyond actually for kind of how they were playing
Hopefully a Nightfall Activator. I think Lunari Duskbringer is the complete definition of a Nightfall Activator. I think that's the only thing it does. Forgetting is death to an immortal. Our light grows brighter. I cannot turn back. I don't know which one to challenge. I will be heard. I'm not sure. Alright, we'll go thrash. Here's your cut. Killing the Dustbringer also. Cloaks in silver tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. Oh, so I guess I didn't need to use a Cascade over on Diana, but it does help with the reputation. I never think about playing around the box with this deck. I've multiple times gotten got by the box. Not really considering that as like a card to play around. Dang. Great turn for them though. That was a great turn for them. Reaper, the box, and Black Spear for their three cards. Wow. Now another Thresh. Do the, the third Thresh. So they've had three Thresh and a Sivir so far. Have another the box, do they? Face your heretic. Yeah, we got some card draw. So I like it, I like the card draw. They're both two out of four, so I do need both the Diana and Crescent Guardian to strike to turn on the reputation. Which is not gonna be the case. But that gets an atrocity out of their hand. Like, they're down to two cards. Now I'm going to be able to refill. Love it. The move Light Affliction is so clutch against Nasus. Which looks like they have a Nasus. That's what it looks like. The best lies are beautiful. So obvious. All right, so I, I my plays are not good against um, Withering Whale or Vile Feast like too much. They're getting a blocker. But I was going to say, I do have a gem. I think we just double Kato. Single Kato will do. Alright, 3 0. One step closer. To the edge. <laughs> More Thresh Nasses. 
Yeah, the Moonlight Affliction's been MVP. Definitely seems like you need, like, Hush Moonlight Affliction these days with all these Watchers and Nasus. It's just all Watcher Nasus. Um, so, let's see. Get rid of that. I guess we get rid of both 5 drops. Both 5 drops are pretty good. I guess we get rid of them both. I was going to say, are scared to attack here? As the fearsome unit, also too scared to attack. Alright, bring in the dusk. You can't handle the dusk. Oh wait, they can't play Blighted Caretaker this turn. I was thinking, I was like, no, I don't want to play Sentry into Blighted Caretaker, but they can't play Caretaker this turn. Yeah, they're just gonna pass. All right, that was that was my bad. I should have played Sentry. It may not be bad to block, honestly. Cause right, like their deck's all about like sacrificing stuff. Like they want, like for Caretaker, they want that thing alive. It does buff the Reaper, but they would probably be able to buff that Reaper either way. I don't know. Yeah, I could see not blocking. Their deck has good cards. <laughs> I was gonna say Glimpse Beyond is a great card, but that's like kind of everything in their deck. Their deck has a lot of good cards. Yeah, we could play Cloven Way next turn, but I think I want to LeBlanc and just get LeBlanc in play and start attacking with this. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. See what we see. So My move. All right, well, that didn't work out. Or did it? No, it didn't. The duty fulfilled, a life undone. Forgetting is death to an immortal. There's the caretaker. Night flowers upon my blade. Card's pretty great. We will resist. Still got 5-2 Bakai Reaper. And, you know, four cards in hand that can be champions and all that kind of stuff. There's the Affliction for Nasus. Bleh. Yeah, good turn again for them. Looks like we're finally losing this matchup. We won the matchup the first two times, but it looks like they got us the third time. Unfortunately.
Yep, they got us this time. Yeah, silence is really, really good in this meta game. We talked about with with all the Nasus and Watchers everywhere. These Reapers, though, have been really overperforming. Victory requires a sharp blade. Your time cycle is done. No, I didn't attack with the five one to have them waste all that mana in because I they they were just expecting me to attack with the five one. So I attack. They they had those more cards and all the mana, and they were just going to play more things and open attack and kill me. And so I could survive an open attack with them passing there, and so that's why I passed. Man, another one of this deck. I wonder how many games we've played that have not been Thresh, Nasus, or this deck, or Watcher today. Not many. That card's definitely gone, and I guess Kato is too. Even that also. It's hard to turn on that Nightfall for that Crescent Guardian right away. And they, you know, they have like all their Frostbite cards, right? So like Kato with the plus three plus zero support isn't as reliable with a Frostbite, even though it does kind of, it is eight damage spread across two bodies. You can think of it like that way. So like that does help. Great ice fill archer. Man, and another thermo. Wow. My light for Avarosa. Save the homestead. Well, we both have three cards in hand and a two drop in play. We're evened up right now. Can you improve perfection? Save the disengage. Every decision that I could make here, there's there's different things that punish me for making that decision. What time is it? And this one, of course, was just like if I passed, if, if they passed, also that I was get, I'd get punished for that. But you know, if I if I play Glory Seeker, then they play like Teemo or Ezreal, but especially Teemo, get the damage in. Just wasn't really a reason to play Sentry right there. So it was like, it was either Glory Seeker or save Spell Mana. Which I only saved one extra mana for not playing Glory Seeker. It's not, you know, it's obviously better if I would have played Glory Seeker. Okay, well, that's the third Thermogenic Beam. So we can uh, fairly assume that they will not have Thermogenic Beams anymore for the rest of the game. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Fairly assume. No way. System upgrade. A ticket to the gun show. I need just a moment. So why is that two? We were peaceful once. Planning on the open attack, using the gem on the two one to make it a three one. Man, 
Nice harsh winds. We definitely use another stun card. In case they have Sejuani. I could also use them not having Sejuani. Puff caps right now. Can you improve perfection? For glory, you are mine. Go time. I give you muscles. No, I mean they this is not GG. Like, remember, they their deck is all about defense, right? Like they play all the frostbite cards. Like they're gonna have brittle steels and troll chance and um you know, we saw harsh winds last turn, like all that kind of stuff. Like they're gonna have all the frostbite cards. This is not Well there's a yeah, like this is not close to over yet. They have all like they'll be playing like three sisters. This game's got a ways to go. But yeah, it's not that was not a that was not bad for us. That was that worked out well. So it's looking looking good. Um, they're gonna need their champions, especially um, Ezreal and Sejuani. Ezreal and Sejuani are where things could get messy. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Um, I don't know. I guess so. We're gonna be drawing more cards with this Hexcore Foundry anyway. That's a good draw. Oh, Captain. No Sejuani over there. Captain Farron over here. And that means it's over. It was inevitable. Born one. Yeah, we broke 300 barrier right before that loss also. But yeah, we finished finished over 300 LP. Great day today. Two four ones, two three twos, And like we said, that was... So, uh... 10 and, not 10, uh, 8, 14, 14 and 6 on the day, that's an incredible record, 14 and 6 on the day, yeah, that's winning over, over twice as much as you're losing in Masters rank, that's awesome, with, um, yeah, with some decks that are not, uh, you yeah, know, these are not meta decks, I would not say, <laughs> so yeah, uh, you want to see that rank, let's see where we're at, 151, Finished up 151. We started today at like 120 LP. Finished today at 304. So yeah, your decks did really well, Kordak. And as we talked about, two of these games today, I just made like one wrong decision, one different decision. Two of those are wins, right? Like we were that close to a 16 and four day. Um, just two little decisions. You know, I used the sharp side on, on another card, was one game, and I don't remember the other one. There's another game that was like that. There was just like one one decision that it was definitely winnable that I that I had lethal and I missed it. So so close to going 16 and 4 today. Um but yeah another another really good deck. I've always said that Diana deck Diana is really good champion, right? Like I've always said that um and I've you know I've always been very high on Diana. But recently as we talked about LeBlanc 
keeps looking good, keeps overperforming. Both of our LeBlanc decks today went four and one, and that that one with the LeBlanc deck, like that should have been a five zero. The one earlier, that was the sharp side play. That really should have been a five zero. I just sharp sided the wrong card. Um, so yeah, both of our LeBlanc deck, like LeBlanc, just keeps overperforming. Now, besides that, Whisper Words, another card overperforming, right? Like LeBlanc with Reputation, turning on Reputation, not too difficult, and then getting draw twos. And so being able to play, you know, be an aggressive deck that has the card advantage, Whisper Words also really overperforming. Um, other card that was great, Moonlight Affliction. Uh, lots of things to silence these days. Nasus is everywhere. Got to be silencing, so hush. Moonlight Affliction, those cards are looking great right now. So this, yeah, this one of, we drew this one of all the time, and it was really important. <laughs> and so I'm really glad that we had that. And then finally, Kato. Yeah, can't you can't uh, give enough love to Kato. Um, you know, it strikes for five. It turns like something weak, like a little two one into something that turns on your reputation, striking for five also. And uh, yeah, this was an, a card that was great for finishing out games. Kato um, in both both versions, both this and the Garen version, Kato also overperformed. So yeah, looking good, looking good. All right, so that was Diana LeBlanc. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, Hit that like button over there, and of course, leave those comments. Hopefully, y'all really enjoyed these different decks for today. Hope, hopefully, y'all did, because we had we had a bunch of good ones. We had four different sweet decks that you can play in Masters Rank, rank up with, and play off meta decks, right? Like that's what we that's what we want to find. We want to find all sorts of decks that people aren't playing. Great day today. All right. Well, anyway, that's going to be it here for Diana LeBlanc. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.